Hello, welcome to Axiom Audio's video manual on wiring your single input speaker. Uh, a couple of things we're going to touch base on before we even start is, first things first, make sure your amplifier is off. You don't want your amplifier on while you're doing this. Um, if you cause any shorts, you could very conceivably blow up your amplifier. Not a good thing. Uh, second of all, make sure that um, your, your speaker wire is, you've got a phase going on. So make sure that you've got your positive to positive, negative to negative. Um, between your amplifier and your speaker. In our case, we actually use um, a speaker wire and we've put our logo on one side of, of, the, of the wire. So one conductor has the, has the logo, choose one. It, we use that as our positive always. So if you, you can look at any of our speaker wires, they all have the, the logo on the positive side. Decide what you're going to do and just stay with it and that way you know that whenever you go to your amplifier or your speaker, you've got it in phase. As soon as you're out of phase, your speakers won't sound good. You'll wonder what's going wrong. They don't sound as good as they should. That could be your problem. Always check that before you, before you go any further. Um, we also supply a wrench with all of our speakers. Uh, it's a little plastic wrench. It fits on our binding posts just so that you can tighten them down. You always want to make sure no matter what you're doing, your, your binding posts are, are tightened down. Um, no matter what your connection is. The most common connection is um, a bare wire. Now we recommend that you tin the wires if you can. Uh, if you have the, the option to do that, it's the best way to do, do it. There's, there's no way you can fray it. Speaker wire is stranded, so you don't want those little strands crossing each other, shorting positive to negative. So we recommend that you tin it. If you can't tin it, twist it as tightly as you can. Um, best way to go and then you know that you know, you're know you not going to have any strays. Make sure you don't. Um, so the bare wire basically, in our binding post there's a hole in the post underneath the nut. So really you just want to put um, your positive to positive, negative to negative underneath the nut um, and then tighten the nut down. You can finger tighten it at first and then use the wrench to tighten it down at the end. Uh, so that's a bare, bare wire, that's the most common. We use here a banana plug. Uh, the reason we use it is because we unplug and plug in speakers all the time. Um, we're constantly unplugging and plugging in. It just makes it very simple. It, in, out. Um, we'll do another video on, on wiring your banana plugs properly. They do have a wire relief, so you want to make sure that you use that. Um, so that's, that's another way to do it. Uh, you also have the option for spade connections. Uh, there's a quarter inch spade connection, which in this case, we have a washer underneath the nut. This is the only um, hookup that would require you to lift this washer. And under that washer is uh, a flat spot. So basically these lock in. So once they're in, if you put them under the nut, they lock, they can't twist. So that's a really good thing. Um, you can tighten these right down. These aren't gonna twist on you. They're gonna stay in place. But again, you wanna tighten the nuts right down. Make sure that these connections are under the washer. Um, we also have the 3 8 inch spade connection. That goes above the washer. Uh, the, the issue with that, not that it's a bad thing, but these can twist. So just make sure that they're nice and straight. You're not shorting to the, the positive to the negative, the negative to the positive. Again, make sure that your nuts are tightened right down using the wrench. Uh, so that's another option. You can also use a ring connection that would take you take the nuts off, put the ring right over the, the post, and then put the nut back on. Those we recommend you do one at a time. Don't confuse your, your positive and negative. They have to go back on the same way that they came off. Otherwise, again, you're going to be out of phase. Those colors mean something. Uh, so that's another option. And then there's another one that I don't even have um, a sample of, and that is a pin connection, which is very similar to the bare wire if you've got it tinned. Uh, it clamps onto the wire. It's just a pin. It goes in where the same the same hole that the that the uh, bare wire would go into again tighten it down it's not one that's used very often um, i've never actually even seen one so it's rarely used um, 
So those are basically the options for, for wiring up your speaker. If you have any questions or comments, you can certainly contact us at uh, info at axiomaudio.com or you can call our toll-free number at 866-244-8796 and we'd be certainly happy to help you. Thank you for watching.